What's going on guys? <laughs> Thank you for coming to hang out with us. We are with the creator of Monkey Knuckles, Matt. What's up? You got it right this time. <laughs> but we're at English Bay in Vancouver, Canada at the Chinese statues. I don't think there's a name for them, I guess, right? So we've been hanging out with Matt all morning. He's been showing us Monkey Knuckles and they're way cool. It's like a mix of, I don't know, what would you say? Like Koi meets uh, freehand yo-yoing uh, meets... Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Astro Jacks. Astro Jacks. Yeah. Cool. It's kind of like an amalgam of a lot of different skill toys mm -hmm. to make its own unique thing. Oh, the amazing. Here's what's called. Amazing laughter. The, uh, amazing laughter. Vancouver Biennial. Maybe I recommend this one here. It's a. Uh, Try and get a shot from above. So Todd's gonna do a little climbing. Yeah. Seems stable enough though. <laughs> Don't get eaten. Take yeah, that's right. No. Attack on Titan. My right rock climbing skills. There you go. Yeah, oh, that's easy. Okay. Oh, nice. Money. That wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. <laughs> so let's have you stand just right over me, right here. Yeah, out of the shadow. Just getting some random product placement shots. <laughs> it's awesome. So we just finished filming here, and now we're gonna move on to our next location. Cole Harbor right now, just filming some shots. A little late after we shot the shots. Oh <laughs> yeah. well, we already shot. We them. already shot the shots. Random chevron in the middle of the lake or ocean? Is it a lake or an ocean? Yeah, ocean. Ocean. Correction. Random chevron in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Never seen that before. So we're back at Matt's house. Before we go out and film for the day, we're gonna eat some lunch, mm -hmm. review some of the footage, get some ideas and inspiration for clips to shoot today. And we just got ourselves some delicious fish and chips from across the street. That's so much food. Yeah. Dude, that dude is I'm like a liar. I know, I was like, this is meant for one person. Oh, dude, he was like twice our size, so. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> so we just wanted to order one. He's like, dude, one of these is only meant for one person. But that is not meant for one person. That's at least two people. It's huge. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so big. Joe's messing with his bogeary. Or how do you say this thing? Boglary? Boglary? Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> Yo, so we are at Gastown? Is that where we are now? Uh, or kind yeah, of? kind of on the edge of Gastown. Yeah. Edge of Gastown. Yeah. We just ran into some random fan from Australia Kelvin. in Vancouver. Kelvin. Kelvin. Yeah, give, give Kelvin a shout. Man. Kelvin, <laughs> shout out. Thanks for coming to say hi. Kelvin. <laughs> that was awesome. Joe says hi. <laughs> So Matt says hi. Yeah. Thanks for coming to say hi. If you're watching this, that made our day. Thank you. <laughs> um, but anyway, first shot. We're going to work with the background swap here because this is kind of cool.
How bad would it hurt? Hit my back. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not. It's not bad, it's not man. Bad. As long as your back is turned. Yeah, let's try it. Hey, what are you doing? Do you have a bottle? Yeah. Are you? <laughs> I want to see if you can hit off my head. <laughs> I've been thinking about this for a while. I was like, ah, that would be cool. You've got a lot of trust in you, man. If it hurts, whatever. I don't know if I can balance this. Just gonna get drilled right in the back of the head. This is gonna be awesome. Getting warmed up. Ah. Oh. <laughs> All right, you're in, man. <laughs> That's hard. Yes. Boom. <laughs> the William Tell of monkey knuckles. Cheers. Now we're off to the steam clock. The pretty, pretty famous part of Vancouver. Or Vancouver or? Yeah, it's kind of a, a landmark in Gastown. Oh, Gastown. I kept, keep forgetting, I want to say Gastown, but I keep forgetting the name of this place. But yeah, it yes. looked really cool. Awesome. That's so cool. That is hands down one of the coolest pictures I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. <laughs> That's so rad. So when did you come up with Monkey Knuckles? Uh, it was probably around 2003 when I first came up with it. I was just like, you know, messing around with stuff. And then I, you know, I started playing around with it, got some tricks and so on, but I figured it would be kind of tough to market, tough to sell. Mm -hmm. Then uh, last year, 2014, I finally decided, you know, with internet now, YouTube videos and so on, you know, it's easier to get, uh, teach people tricks and stuff. So. Mm -hmm took the idea to Toy Fair and that's where I connected with uh, Yomega. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I guess you can purchase these at Yomega? .com yeah, yeah, Yomega.com, bunch of, bunch of stores that they sell their yo-yos and kandamas through. Yeah. So we'll post a link right here or in the description. So how do you come up with different tricks for these? There's kind of different styles, uh, like based on the different ways of holding the holding the toy. So like, you know, hold, hold this ball and you can kind of do a variety of tricks. And uh, those tricks are inspired by like looping yo-yos. Uh, yeah, and if you or if you want to the, the, hold the ends and have the balls rotating in the middle, that's like a different style, and that's kind of conducive to different kinds of tricks. But basically, um, each of the styles is kind of influenced by different kinds of skill toys. So some of them are more like uh, freehand yo-yo style. Mm -hmm. Some uh, borrow tricks from Hoy and Meteor Play. Some uh, from like toys like Astro Jacks. You know, a variety of different toys. Yeah. All right. So how did you come up with the name Monkey Knuckles, or where did it come from? Yeah, I mean the the name is a bit uh, a bit unconventional, I guess. The uh, I had trouble naming it actually, and uh, Kim, you know, tried around a bunch of different names, and I always felt like when I was playing with them, it was kind of a little bit like a monkey swinging on uh, swinging on a tree, or mm -hmm. kind of monkeying around. So that part kind of sticked, and I was looking for variations on that. And uh, uh, the the knuckles part is uh, you know more experiential, you know. Put these in your hands, play with them for half an hour, and you'll be able to tell me why they're called monkey knuckles. Like Todd last night, he was playing with it and hit yeah. his knuckles, and there was the reason. Yeah, it hurt so bad. <laughs> so, how long have you been inventing toys? It's hard to say when I actually started. You know, I, I grew up in a family where, you know, my parents were both really handy and, and made a lot of the stuff that my brother and I played with. And 
so we grew up doing crafts and just kind of we sort of grew, grew up feeling like you know everything around us was raw material to mess around with and so you know, I, I, uh, I've been making stuff to, to play with since I was a kid and then I guess Monkey Knuckles was my first kind of serious toy design and then after that I, I branched out and I started doing uh, wooden blocks and a variety of different kinds of wooden toys and I like wood just because it's super easy to work with and you can you know it's not not expensive you're not playing for paying for uh, you know injection molds or anything like that you can just you know with a limited set of tools and a piece of piece of wood you can come up with a whole whole bunch of different things That's awesome. yeah what are those blocks called again uh, I got a few different block designs um, there's one uh, that I licensed out to fat brain toys that one's called twig that's a pretty big set, and then I've got a, a line called Good, Goodwood Deconstruction Blocks that I sell through my own company around Square.